In this quick video, I want to show you around how you can perform traffic simulation with InfoWorks. To do so, go to the Analyze tab under the Transportation section, hit on Traffic Simulation. As I do so, you'll notice that some sections of my network are instantly highlighted. So these are the component roads that it requires in order to run the simulation. If you so happen to have some planning roads in there that you want to include as part of your traffic area study, that is fine as long as you convert them first to component roads. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly set the boundary for my traffic study area. And I'm going to hit double click in here to finish that off. So you'll notice that this window right here for traffic study area simulation becomes available. So we're not going to hit on that just yet, because what we want to do is go to our traffic analyst panel to control some of the parameters that we have here to make sure that our analysis is as realistic, as close as possible to what's actually happening on the ground. All right, so we now have the traffic analyst panel open. And this is where we can control some of the parameters that we have for the simulation. So in this particular scenario, we want to look at the peak traffic during the rush hour in the morning. So we're going to do a short morning simulation in here. So to do that, I'm just going to activate that. And from there, we'll look at the components that we have here at the bottom and look at how we can configure that, make sure that that is closest to what's happening on the ground. So if you look at the parameters in here, we have the ability to control the time of day and which days this simulation runs. So at the moment, that's set to 8 to 9 a.m. any day during the week. And for now, we'll just leave that as default. If you look at the controls in here, we do have the option to look at the various intersections in here. So as you notice here, we have uh, a few intersections that we can look at. Some of them are not signalized. So for this particular junction, for instance, it's this one right here. So we do have some of the turns that you can do here. So this particular one is reflow, yield, we also have the stop sign in here as well. So as you're crossing from one street to the other, so that's a stop sign, right? Um, additionally, you do have an option to signalize your intersections in here. So this is an example of that. So you'll see here the various turns that you can do. You can also have some groupings in here for the traffic signals. You can control the phases as to how those signals happen, as well as the timing, right? So all the numbers that you see here are in seconds. So you can obviously control that, right? And plan out how the signaling is happening in this particular junction. Obviously, you can also apply rules in here. So for instance, if you're not allowing big vehicles, like buses, for instance, to turn at a particular intersection, you can just set that in there and apply that rule to that particular intersection. So again, for now, we'll just leave that as is. And additionally, you can also look at the demand for this particular time of day as well. So we do recommend that you make sure that these demands are as close as possible to what's actually happening in your network, right? To make sure that the simulation that you do is as accurate as possible. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can specify some of the demand divisions in here as well. So you can control and add your own demand divisions in there. You can set, you know, how much demand you'll have for that particular um, timing or, you know, small, medium-sized vehicles, SUVs, trucks, and so on. You also do have the ability to add some public vehicles in there as well as necessary. What I do recommend is you go to the help manual in here. We do have a comprehensive 
help manual for the InfraWorks traffic analyst. And this would just allow you to understand what each of these parameters are for, how you can control them, and how you can make sure that your analysis is as close as possible to your network. So for now, we're just gonna exit from here and we'll run the simulation in our network. Again, we're looking at the short morning in here. We do have the ability to look at the volume result by lane. We can also look at it per approach. If, for instance, you have some two lane roads in here, for instance, right? And you just want to look at that holistically as well. You do have the ability to control the delay threshold in here. So that means that as you exceed that threshold, that particular section in your network will turn red, just so it will be flagged. So for now, we'll just leave that as is and run this simulation. And now that is done, we can start looking at our traffic here. So I just have the speed of that multiplied by 10. So you can see here that this junction right here actually looks problematic. So there are a lot of red sections in here. And as you hover over them, you'll see how long the queue will be during that time of day. The average delay as well. So no wonder this is highlighted as red. You'll see the average delay in here was 163 seconds. This one as well, 141 seconds. But as we look at the other sections of my network in here, some of these other sections are actually fine. It's just these areas in here that are bottlenecks for our network. So what we can do from here, right, is we can start looking at how we can potentially improve the traffic in this particular area. Perhaps we need to add a new lane here to alleviate the traffic congestion in that area. Perhaps we can change this to a roundabout instead of the stabilized intersection, right? You compare the results that you would have for one scenario versus the other. So this is where your proposal may be handy. So you may be able to create multiple scenarios in here and run the same traffic simulation in here and do a compare and contrast of the results that you would get for each. You'll also notice here that there is a section to save reports. So as you do this, it would just ask you to point to a particular folder and that would just save some Excel reports in there for the simulation that we have done. And you have the option in here as well. So if you're looking at, you know, some uh, cyclists in there, you have some cycling lanes in there, um, you have um, pedestrians in there as well, um, vehicles, uh, private, public, you do have the ability to report on those as well. All right. So that covers a quick overview of our traffic simulation using InfoWorks. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out and happy to assist you with that as well. Thank you.